The late retired Archbishop John Joseph Njenga was today laid to rest at the Holy Family Basilica in Nairobi. In a funeral mass attended by President Uhuru Kenyatta at the University of Nairobi grounds, religious leaders and political leaders eulogized him as a selfless and loving man. Jenga's contribution to the education sector took center stage during the mass. The University of Nairobi grounds was where hundreds gathered to bid farewell to a servant leader whose life has left footprints on the face of the earth. President Uhuru Kenyatta being among key leaders that attended the funeral mass for the repose of the soul of the late retired Archbishop. Others were former Vice President Moody Awori and Vice President William Ruto. Those who interacted with him now holding on to memories they once shared with the late Njenga. Bishop Njenga has been a friend of mine for 73 years. The most important thing that he taught me is love. We will always remember that caring heart, that fatherly love that corrected us when we went wrong. Njenga's contribution in the education sector did not go unmentioned as he helped pioneer the presence of church-sponsored schools that also paved way for religious studies to be included in the curriculum. Look at what is happening in some of our schools. It tells you there is something missing in their lives. We must restore the chaplaincies so that we can mentor and spiritually guide our children. And in a way to preserve Njenga's efforts in the education sector, President Uhuru Kenyatta was not shy of making an order to the education ministry. There are a lot of church uh, schools sponsored and built by the church. And the Ministry of Education, and I'm saying it for the last time today, I want you to ensure that you restore that sponsorship back and secondly, you have one week in which to restore all church-owned land and schools back to their rightful owner. The late retired Archbishop Joseph Njenga was eulogized as a selfless man by those who got a chance to speak. And true to the faith of the Catholic Church, Jenga's remains were interred at the Holy Family Basilica. He died aged 90 after serving in the Catholic Church for 48 years. Raquel Mugai for Citizen TV, Nairobi.